Hello and welcome to Yoga Flow with Monica. I am Monica and today we have Flow for Women. Happy International Women's Day everyone. We're gonna start in seated position so you can sit cross-legged or kneeling as I am. Really up to you. We're gonna stay here just for a couple of moments trying to ground in into the practice quieten our mind, the thoughts in our mind, as well as relax our facial muscles and start focusing on breathing. Try to breathe through the nose if your nose is not blocked. So deep inhales and full exhales through the nose. Relax the shoulders, neck, chest area. Couple more breaths here, just grounding in. One more. And we're gonna start moving out our spine. So we're gonna do seated cat and cow. So start kind of rounding the spine, tucking the belly in, maybe bringing the chin towards the chest. With an inhale, we're gonna open up. So bringing shoulder blades together, maybe looking up. Two more. Exhaling, rounding that spine, maybe reaching with our palms towards our knees. Inhale, you can bring your palms a little bit closer, elbows tucked in, shoulder blades together. One more. Exhale, round. Inhale, open. Wonderful. Come back to neutral. Then bring your palms in front of you. And we're going to come into all fours, tuck the toes and straight into downward dog. Walk your dog so you can bend one leg, extend the other. Continue breathing. Observe how you feel. Remember first we focus on our back, so really trying to stretch out the back. And then we might stretch out the legs a little bit more, only if it feels okay. Legs hip distance apart, palms, arms, shoulder distance apart. Try to spread those palms a little bit more, so spread your fingers as much as you can. And claw into your fingertips a little bit and push away from the floor. That will protect your wrists as well as lengthen your upper body. One more breath here. Then look forward and step or walk both feet in between the palms. We're going to inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release it down. With an inhale, reach the arms above the head, palms together. Exhale, palms in front of the heart, Samastiti. We're gonna flow through one sun salutation A. Inhaling, reaching arms up. Exhaling, folding forward and down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, palms to the floor. Step both legs out into the plank pose. For the first one, we're gonna release the knees down. Start bending into the elbows, releasing body to the floor, untucking the toes, engage the legs, lift up into mini cobra, don't go too high, exhale down, tuck the toes, push away from the floor, lift the hips up, downward dog, deep inhale and exhale here, one more, trying to lengthen through the spine and then straightening the legs a little bit more, then looking forward and stepping or walking both feet in between your palms. Inhale, halfway lift, trying to bring the spine in line with the head. Exhale, palms to the floor. Step out again. Bring your hips up, downward dog. Inhale, exhale. Then release the knees down, coming into all fours. Palms underneath the shoulders, hips underneath the hips. And we're going to move out into cat and cow. But this time we're going to be fluid. So you don't have to do um, kind of classical cat and cow. You can move around. You can move the side from side to side. You can maybe bring your glutes towards the heels. So do anything what feels good. Tap in into that fluidity within you. Continue moving. Really try to move out that spine. You can close your eyes. One more breath here. Come back to neutral. Tuck the toes. Push the hips up. Downward dog. Just one breath here. And then we're going to look forward. We're going to step again the legs in between the palms. We're going to inhale. 
halfway lift, spine parallel to the floor, exhale down. We're gonna bring the feet together together and we're gonna start bending into the knees, bringing the arms in line with our ears coming into chair pose. We're gonna stay here for three deep inhales and exhales. Important thing, tuck the belly in. Don't overarch your lower spine. Inhale. Exhale, maybe sink a little bit deeper for the last one. And then extend the legs, release the fingertips or palms to the floor, relax the head. Inhaling, halfway lift again. Exhale, step the left leg out, coming into warrior one. Lifting the arm up, the front leg, knee is in line with your toes, back leg is straight, looking in front, maybe bring the palms together and gaze towards those palms. Bend a little bit more into the front knee, make sure the both hip bones facing towards the front as much as you can. One more deep inhale and exhale here. Then release the palms to the floor and bring the front leg to the back, plank pose, your choice, release the knees down or not. I'm gonna bend to the elbows, release all the way to the floor. Untuck the toes, lift up, maybe into a little bit higher cobra, make sure you're not collapsing into the shoulders. Exhale down, tuck the toes, push away, lift the hips up, downward dog, inhale, exhale. Then look forward, Step the left leg more or less in between the palms. Back heel releases down, coming into warrior one on the left side. Palms together, if it feels okay, on your shoulders. If shoulders lift, don't worry, you can open the arms a little bit more, okay? Gazing towards the palms, sinking a little bit deeper. One more breath here. Then release the fingertips to the floor and bring that back leg to meet the front. We're gonna inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, down. Start bending into the knees, reaching the arms in line with the ears. Again, chair pose. Fear pose, sometimes it's called fear pose. Trying to tap in into that fearfulness in our bodies. One more breath here. And then extend the legs, bring the palms together in front of the heart, Samastiti. Relax for a couple of breaths. Taking one deep inhale and exhale. And with the next inhale, we're gonna reach the arms up again. Exhale, fold forward and down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, both. Palms to the floor, step one leg at a time, plank pose. We're gonna stay here for five deep inhales and exhales. Again, tapping in into our strength, looking down, don't collapse into the shoulders. Just two more breaths, you can do it. Continue breathing, and one more. Then if you wish, you can release the knees down, we're gonna start bending into the elbows, relaxing to the floor. Untuck the toes, inhale. Lift up, open the chest, exhale, down, tucking the toes, pushing away from the floor and lifting back up into downward dog. Inhale and exhaling. Then we're going to release the knees down. We're going to release the forearms to the floor. We're going to bring our legs out again, coming into forearm plank, staying here again for five breaths. Make sure you're not collapsing into your belly, so not releasing the belly too close to the floor, neither lifting the hips too high, trying to find a nice straight line, keeping those elbows underneath the shoulders. One more breath here. Then start walking the legs towards you, coming into dolphin pose just for two breaths. So imagine the downward dog on forearms, not collapsing into the shoulders. Push into those elbows. One deep inhale and exhale. and then walk the legs out, release the knees. Relax into child's pose, observe how you feel. Inhaling, exhaling, relaxing the glutes towards the heels, arms completely relaxed. One more deep inhale and exhale here. Exhale, 
And we're gonna slowly lift back up for all fours. Tuck the toes, lift the hips up, downward dog. Look to the front and step the right leg in between the palms. Then we're gonna turn to the long edge of the mat, coming into wide-legged forward fold. Relax here, release your head, trying to look towards either your palms or just behind you. Slowly straighten the legs, but don't forget to engage your inner thighs. So that's very important, engage your inner thighs. If your legs are straight, you can push the weight forward just a tiny bit. You can bring the palms in line with your feet if it feels okay, and then start bending into the elbows. Deep inhales and exhales here. One more. Then lift back up halfway. So bringing the spine in line with the mat, the floor more or less. And then we're gonna move the toes out. So they're looking outwards. And we're gonna start bending into the knees and lifting ourselves up, coming into goddess pose. So first just release your arms to your thighs and we're gonna twist gently. So push that right shoulder forward and look towards the left. Make sure none of the knees are falling in. They're facing outwards. Same way as your toes. And then move the other way. Deep inhales and exhales. Don't forget to breathe here. One more. Come back to the center and we're gonna lift ourselves up and bring the arms in goal pose. So bend your elbows, elbows in line with the shoulders, staying here in this super strong pose, goddess pose, full expression. Try not to let the knees fall in. Either don't stick the glutes too much out, okay? We're trying to imagine that you're squatting next to the wall so the glutes and the head and the back is touching the wall. Two more breaths here. Very strong pose. Generating that heat and strength in our body. One more. And we're gonna extend the legs out, come back into that wide-legged forward fold. So toes facing more forward than out. And relax the head down again. Inhale. Exhale, maybe sink a little bit deeper. Continue breathing. One more breath. Then lift yourself up halfway. Inhale. Exhale. Start heel, toe, the feet into each other. Then inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release it down. Deep inhales and forward fall. Try to relax the head. One more breath. Then slowly roll up. So very slowly, the back is rounded. We unraveling the spine. Head comes back. Last. Wonderful. We're gonna come into Three pose, so open that right knee to face towards the right side. And you can keep the big toe on the floor, foot on the calf, or all the way into your growing. Make sure you don't leave that foot over the knee. Bring the palms in front of the heart, or you can reach the arms up, coming into full expression of the tree. Find non moving spot and start relaxing. Release your facial muscles, shoulders, Inhale and exhale. Two more breaths here. And one more. Then we slowly gonna release it down. We're gonna release that leg down and we're gonna switch the other side. So slowly shift the weight into the le right leg. Make sure you don't stick that hip out, okay? So the right leg is active. Use the same variation what you did on the other side. And then palms together or arms up. Again, same variation, okay? Always try to repeat the same on both sides. Relax shoulders, facial muscles. Check in with your thoughts. Sometimes balancing position, positions really help you to kind of quieten your mind. 
Observe how you feel. One more breath here. And we slowly gonna release it down, relax that leg, shake the legs, come back to the top of the mat. We're gonna flow one more time. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fall forward and down. Inhaling, halfway lift. Exhale, palms to the floor. Step both legs out. Plank pose. Stay here for three breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. And one more. Your choice. You're going to release the knees down or not. We're going to bend into the elbows, trying to bring the elbows as close to our body when we go down. And tuck the toes. Bring the palms a little bit lower, so kind of in line with your rib cage almost. And we're gonna lift up three times into cobra, trying really to stretch out the front body, pushing into those palms, shoulders away from the ears, and then slow release it down. Two more times. Inhale up. Exhale down. One more. Inhale up. Exhale down. Wonderful. Tuck the toes and push yourself away from the floor and then bring the heel, um, the glutes towards the heels, okay? With the toes stuck, stretching out the feet a little bit. Relax here in child's pose. Deep inhales and exhales. One more. Wonderful. We're gonna come into our peak pose just before finishing. So you have two options. If you've never done supported headstand or shoulder stand, sometimes it's called. Again, we're gonna come into that dolphin pose. Okay, so forearms under the floor. Interlace the palms, lift the hips up, and try to walk the legs as close towards you as possible, but keeping them relatively straight. Spine is straight, and you're pushing into those elbows. Okay, so we're not collapsing into the shoulders. We're pushing away from the floor. We're gonna stay there for five to seven, eight breaths, or if you know shoulder stand, feel free to come into shoulder stand. So just remember again, keeping the elbows underneath the shoulders, relaxing your top of the head to the floor. The head takes only five to 10% of the weight, and then lift yourself up all the way or just halfway, keeping the legs straight or bend staying here for five to seven breaths. Make sure the shoulders engaged. You're not collapsing into the shoulders, not collapsing into the head. Continue breathing. Inhale and exhale. Couple more, just couple more left, left regardless if you're in shoulder stand or the dolphin pose then slowly start releasing down, walking the legs out, and relaxing into child's pose. So we all gonna relax in the child's pose if you wish. You can bring the knees a bit wider, release deeper into the mat, completely relax. We are all gonna take a moment to bring awareness to sensation in our body. What does this stronger pose make us feel? How did we talk to each other while we were in this dolphin or shoulder stand poses? Were we gentle or were we judgmental? Remember, there is no place for judging in yoga. We do it to feel to make us feel great, not to be perfect. Couple more breaths here. One more. And then slowly lift yourself up. And you can take any other movements if you wish. Before finishing this practice, you can lay down in Shavasana or come into seated meditation and just let your body to digest the benefits of this practice for some time. Thank you so much for joining today. I hope you enjoyed this stronger, more powerful yoga for women. I hope to see you soon on my channel. Remember, if you have any requests 
or suggestions, just please leave them below the video. And once again, happy International Women's Day. Bye.